We got some big updates with these Baltimore Ravens and Marlon Humphrey. Uh, sit back, relax. We're probably going to be here for a little while. But anyway, Team Keep It Clean, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss updates like these and really everything when it comes to covering the Baltimore Ravens. Leave a like on the video so YouTube can keep telling you about the channel and they can tell your friends and family about the channel too. And I mean, you can do that if you want to as well. Anyway, let's get into it. Marlon Humphrey, it came out yesterday that Marlon Humphrey, he was dealing with an injury. And the initial report on Marlon Humphrey was that he might maybe require a medical procedure. And we said it in yesterday's video that that was just really a nice way of saying Marlon Humphrey might need to have surgery. What happened like not even an hour after that first update came out, they said that Marlon Humphrey, he had surgery. They said it was a foot injury that he was dealing with and he did have surgery on it. And Ian Rappaport reported, he said that um, Marlon Humphrey is expected to have the surgery and the hope is that he's back in a little over a month. So he's going to be out for the first couple of games. That rolls a lot of questions with Ravens fans, a lot of concerns with Ravens fans, as it should be. Like, man, one of those concerns was because it was said that this was a lingering injury. So if something is lingering, that means it's been going on for a while. So fans were wondering, like, man, why didn't he take care of this injury way before? Why are the Ravens waiting until now to do the surgery? What, what was the holdup? And that's a reasonable concern, and I get it. Uh, but Jeff Zrebik said that he was doing fine. He never missed a rep in training camp and practice and anything like that. He didn't miss any time, anything like that. So he had been doing just fine. And I guess it was one of those things that they just felt like, all right, if it ain't bothering him, then he'll be straight. But I guess something messed it up and whatnot. Uh, and he had to have surgery on it. So that was the deal with that. Now, um, when it comes to Marlon Humphrey, big concern is uh, the defense, obviously. Marlon Humphrey, the best cornerback on the team, one of the best and most consistent players uh, on the team. So missing him is a big blow. But I did see somebody uh, make a, an interesting point, and they talked about uh, Mike McDonald and him having a zone, zone defense. And with the defense being primarily a zone scheme type of defense that – the Ravens will be able to absorb this blow a lot easier than they normally would had they played more man coverage. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, and with Marlon Humphrey, another thing that is uh, a bit concerning, uh, just really for the Ravens overall, because, I mean, while they could – absorb the blow and, and like I said in yesterday's video too a lot more weight is now going to be put on the offense because if the offense out there they score 35 40 points a game and Ravens can hold teams to 15 20 I mean even less would be better we ain't gonna complain over that uh but they'll, they'll be straight while Marlon is out but then another concern uh is when Marlon comes back all right he's gonna be out the first couple of games I mean it, it said the hope is that he's out for the first couple of games um the timetable for his return that's going to be another concern because what you need to do, you have to make sure. Again, this is why they hired that coach from the Titans a couple of years ago, that recovery coach. Um, you got to make sure when Marlon comes back, that ain't no setbacks, that he's fully ready to go, that he's fully ready to, to, to jump into things, that you don't bring him back when he's 75 percent, 80 percent. No, he got to be all the way ready because you don't want this injury to reoccur you don't want this injury to happen again then at the same time how long is it going to take for Marlon to jump back out there how long is it going to take for him to be himself again so that that's a slight concern again Marlon is a veteran though he's been in the game for a long time he's dealt with some injuries before not many so that's not too big of a concern but it's just they got to make sure that he comes back right so um, a lot of Ravens fans are wondering, all right, we lost Marlon Humphrey, EDC, you t time to make a move. A lot of people were talking about trades and whatnot, uh, and I feel like right now, if the Ravens were to trade for a cornerback, I wouldn't mind if they did it, but if they were to trade for a cornerback, teams could really uh, try to strong arm the Ravens because they know that there is a need in the Ravens, depending on how desperate they would be to acquire certain cornerbacks from other teams in, via trade. Uh, instead of, say, just using it as an example, if the Ravens wanted to give up a fourth-round pick for a cornerback, just an example now, but if the Ravens wanted to give up a fourth-round pick for a cornerback and a team like, oh, they just lost Marlon Humphrey, oh, no, 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 they really want this cornerback, they got to give up more. So give us a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, give us all of that. So a team could try to do that with the Ravens uh, because they know that there's a clear need in their secondary. But Ravens, they decided to take another route uh, because Ronald Darby, 
Our free agent, Ronald Darby, he played for the Broncos last year. Veteran guy, been playing since 2015. Uh, he visited, or he is visiting the Ravens today. So uh, they are looking to fill that need. Um, now, they did have in William Jackson uh, a couple of days ago. They had him in for a visit. So they, they had William Jackson in before this whole thing happened with Marlon Humphrey. Uh, so Ravens, th there has been a clear need at corner for the Baltimore Ravens uh, for just more quality depth. Uh, for the Baltimore Ravens, even before Marlon Humphrey went down, because Rocky seen he was down too. So it's like, like we talked about before, and like y'all know already, because y'all are very, uh, y'all y'all have plenty of knowledge on this. Every single year, Ravens cornerback depth gets tested like crazy. Every single year, and now Ravens number one and number two corners are out right now. Now they're not expected to be out forever. For the whole season, which is great. That's so we got to take the, the the good news with the bad, or really the bad news with the good, uh, because since this is not a season-ending, in well, it's not expected to be. It shouldn't be, but since it's not a season-ending injury, then that is great news, and we will hold on to any type of great news that we could possibly get, especially when it comes to injuries on this team. But anyway, Ronald Darby, um. He played for the Bills. He played for the Eagles. He played for the Commanders. He played for the Broncos. So he 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 been around. He's a uh, he's a journeyman. Um, but we'll see uh, if they can get something done with him. We'll see if they want to get something done with him. Uh, but somebody else who they uh, could possibly get something done with, or somebody else who uh, don't even got to act as their own agent right now, uh, is Bryce Callahan, and he's known to be an inside a slot a nickel corner. Um, and then coincidentally, Kyle Vinoy, who visited with the Ravens, who the Ravens have apparently still been talking to, um, he had some interesting things to say. And he said this. He said, I'm shocked. Ain't no corner needy team has picked up Bryce Callahan. I feel like folks don't watch film like that. But he was an elite star last year and battled out an injury all season. His toughness, IQ, and tackling would help so many teams. He's a ball player. So it feels like Kyle Vinoy trying to get the Ravens to do sort of like a two-for-one type of deal to where they, they get both Bryce Callahan and him, Kyle Vinoy. They pick him up, uh, but it's all negotiated through one person, that being Kyle Vinoy. So we'll see how that works itself out. Um, now, we know that the, uh, the joint practices with the commanders, that's officially over. It was just for the past two days, and it had a lot of interesting stuff that went down. Now, uh, one of the, the most interesting things that happened in some of those practices were the fights. They were the fights. And again, this nobody should be surprised or shocked when players from two different teams with guys that are very hungry and dudes that are just stressed out because they trying to make the team. Again, it's 90 men rosters out there and only 53 people can make it. Now, of course, there's this practice squad too, but people are trying to get on that active roster because there's a lot more money on an active roster than it is on a practice squad. Even on a practice squad, you can still make some bread too. But anyway, um, nobody should be surprised when fights happen. Uh, it, it's part of the game. Um, so with there was a fight, uh, either the, no, there was fights on both days, yesterday and the day before yesterday, but there was one uh, with Emmanuel Forbes. And Emmanuel Forbes, he started put him and Tylen Wallace. They start pushing and shoving and swinging and whatnot. And then this uh, wide receiver from Texas, he came out of nowhere. Shout out to my guy Raven. See, he he gladly reminded me of that that he had, that's a Texas Raven. But um, he came out of nowhere. That being Devin Duvernay, and he picked up Emmanuel Forbes and swung him to the ground. Throw him to the ground. I said, whoa, Devin Duvernay. Okay, dude. Hey, I know you was a little pit bull, but I didn't know you was like that, like that. Um, and then the Ravens. Was this a petty move or not? I don't know. 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 You don't know say. But the Ravens, for Wallpaper Wednesday, they put Devin Duvernay. They put Devin Duvernay. And Emmanuel Forbes, I don't think he liked that. I don't think he liked that. Because coincidentally, he quote, well, I was about to say quote tweeted. He reposted it. Oh, but and he said, LOL, that's funny. Didn't say anything else after that, but you would have to think that he, he might have feel like the Ravens were propping up Devin Duvernay after Duvernay slammed him on the ground. But anyway, uh, that's all training camp stuff. So, yeah, now that y'all are up to date, caught up, we can move forward now. Um, hopefully with 
Ravens, like, they, they get this whole cornerback situation worked out. I mean, I know another thing that's happened, too. I've seen a lot of Ravens fans have the conversation. Oh, man, why we draft Trenton Simpson? We shouldn't have never drafted Trenton Simpson. We should have took a corner in that spot. And I, and I, I, I get it. I, I get it. Uh, but I see it's like a lot of Ravens fans are sort of like not necessarily switching up, but hindsight is twenty twenty. Now, there's some people that were saying that from before. There, there are definitely some people that were saying that from before. But hindsight is twenty twenty, And what that means, when you look back at a situation, it's easy to say, oh, man, I could have done that. I should have done that. Man, it, I, I would have done that. It's easy to do that. It's super easy. But life happens. Things change. And it is what it is. So I'm not, I'm not knocking the Ravens for not taking a corner then. I mean, the previous draft, they, they just drafted two corners. They drafted Jalen Armour Davis, and they drafted Pepe Williams, too. And I, I, and Ravens, they signed Rocky Sin, they had Marlon Humphrey. So I, I don't think, like, with the Ravens, while they did need another corner, like, it's not like they had just put themselves in this terrible situation. Injuries happen literally to everybody. Injuries happen to all of their corners. So they, they had had a bunch of corners. Like, just you go back a week and a half ago, two weeks, they had a bunch of corners, but literally – Everybody got hurt. They even brought in Arthur Millett. He got hurt. Marlon Humphrey, obviously he's hurt. Um, Jalen Armour Davis, he's hurt. Rocky Seen, he's hurt. All they cornerbacks just, they hurting right now. So I, I feel like Ravens, while they weren't the best prepared for their cornerback, they, they were in decent shape. Like, it ain't like the corner room was like, oh, man, like, we ain't got nothing. No, they were straight, but then the injuries just took over. So... That was that. So, team, keep it clean. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. The season is not over. It is not over. Because I know Marlon Humphrey is a huge, huge blow. Huge blow. But that does not end the season. Again, offense just got to do that much more. And really, so does everybody else. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Marlon Humphrey is, hopefully for an extremely limited amount of time, we out.